Hi, Lincoln Parks here, founder and CEO of Web Mobile Fusion and 2021 board chair for the Henry County Chamber of Commerce. Today, I'm excited to share with you a new segment from the Henry County Chamber of Commerce, and it's called the chair seat. In the chair seat, we are going to interview fascinating people in Henry County. So I want you to listen in to this next great interview in the chair seat. All right, so I'm here today with Greg Horton, the uh, owner of Barn Beautiful. Uh, Greg, thanks for being in the chair seat. Oh, great, great to be here. Awesome. So Greg, I wanted to talk to you a little bit. Tell us a little bit about Barn Beautiful uh, and how did you come up with that, with, with, with your business? Uh, that, that could be a long story. Um, the, the short line is what Barn Beautiful does is we make uh, home furnishings and furniture out of reclaimed barn wood. And we actually go out, take down the barns, take pictures, record the history of the structure, and then process the wood to make custom furniture and home accessories. So how did you come up with that process? Like, how, where did that come, all come from? Uh, it, quite a while back. We've been doing this for about 12 years. But um, I was an industrial engineer in the apparel industry. And uh, as manufacturing jobs kept going overseas, I got tired of chasing companies and chasing jobs and decided to do my own thing. And uh, the coincidence was we had a, a, an artist friend that lived in Miami that was into photography and sent us some very interesting photos of trees. And we wanted to honor those photos uh, with, with old wood. And so the idea of coming, going out and collecting barn wood to make frames for those is kind of how it all originated. That's, a, that's, that's awesome. I, I really love the idea. I know you've been uh, featured in quite a few magazines and publications around and, and I always hear about Barn Beautiful. I hadn't had the opportunity to stop in yet, but that's something that I'm definitely going to do. Well, please do, yeah. Henry County's been good to us as far as magazines and articles and, and public response. So. Absolutely. So, uh, what are some of the uh, most popular products that you sell at Barn Beautiful? Uh, there's really a wide range. Uh, if, if you're talking about just Barn Beautiful products, you know, we do custom furniture. Tables and benches and chairs are probably the top uh, sellers. Uh, but you know, we also make small home furnishing items as vases and candles, trays, artwork. We even you make artwork out of some of the old wood. Um, and, and, but then now uh, we, we're trying to evolve our store into being a unique gift shop. And so we feature many local artists and artisans in the store in addition to our barn wood and try to create a, uh, try to present a wide variety of products. So do you feature a lot of Henry County uh, artists and, and, and people in the county? Yes, uh, everything in the store is handcrafted and made here in Georgia, uh, but most of it is uh, made by Henry County artists and artisans. Um, in addition to our, you know, we have a separate gallery for artwork in our store. Uh, that has all Henry County artists featured in there. Uh, but then it, within the retail store, we have other local artists, artisans which create uh, you know, physical product right. from various things. And it's all handcrafted and made here in Georgia. Now that's phenomenal, that's phenomenal. So you've, you've just joined the chamber in March of 2021. Uh, so you're fairly new to the chamber. Uh, what made you join the chamber at this point? Well, my partner and I had talked about it from, and for quite a while, and we knew that joining uh, the chamber was an important move uh, for our business. Um, but you know, as, as, especially over the past year, you know, businesses were kind of watching what they did and and where they spent their money and and trying to you know plan for the future. But uh, through our experiences with the CVB, uh, the, the ladies over at the CVB, over the past year and a half, two years, and seeing what. Uh, uh, direction the chamber had gone as far as uh, promoting businesses and the county, we, we knew it was time time to join. We wanted to support uh, the entities that were supporting us. So. Uh, absolutely. And, and the chamber is all about supporting uh, local businesses and small businesses. So we're glad that you're a part of the chamber. We, we, we definitely uh, love that partnership. We are too. Yeah. So we understand that you acquired uh, an historic 100-year-old Crumbly Barn and you took, uh, you took ownership of that or, or you're able to claim that wood as of June 9th. So tell us more about that project. Uh, well, first of all, we're not quite sure of the age of the barn. Um, we haven't gotten the, the full history yet, though I have spoken with a family member that seems to have a great deal of family history 
recorded as far as the, the lineage of the family and, and the properties. Uh, but uh, uh, they actually called us. We're always looking for the next barn, and I have been putting the word out over the past couple of months that I'm in desperate need of a barn. You know, over the past year with the pandemic, we, we didn't reclaim anything. Uh, but the Crumbly family called us, uh, said they were in the process of having to uh, sell a property that had a beautiful barn on it, and it was truly beautiful, um, uh, and asked if we would be interested in, in working with them to try to make some things for the family from the wood that they all felt you know, strongly about. So. Wow. Wow. So tell, tell us a little bit about that process. Like what, what goes into when you get on premises and you're starting to break this whole thing down and what, what does that process look like? Well, you, you get there and you take a deep breath. <laughs> um, you kind of walk around and look and, and, and just understand how the structure is put together, uh, what it's about, uh, what its strong points are and what its weaknesses are, and what's there that, that is usable and, and reclaimable. Um, and so you, you start just gradually bringing a crew in and, and start selectively taking off certain parts of the barn and keeping an eye on the stability of the structure as you do it. Um, but you know, as you're doing that, uh, often for us it's in 80, 90, sometimes 100 degree heat. Uh, you get very intimate with every board that comes off of that building. You know, you, yes. you, we, we look at it, we, we touch it, we feel it and decide whether it's going on the trailer or, or whether it's usable or not. Yeah. Um, and, and so that, that's kind of how it goes and, until you get to the point where you're just ready to bring it on down to the ground and finish it up. Gotcha. So are, are you doing, are you on site as well and you're, you're jumping in there and you're, you're, you're getting your hands dirty as well? Yes, um, always. Uh, you know, aside from the fact that we're reclaiming the barn and it can be a dangerous process. You know, you're, you're taking down a structure that's been there, you're not sure how sturdy it is. Right. But the other part is uh, our name, our Barn Beautiful is attached to it. Um, and we have an agreement with the landowner very often uh, as to how that's going to be done. And, and you know, and we, we tell property owners that we're not just going to go out there and grab the good stuff and leave you with a mess. You know, we, we promise to clean the site, uh, so that they're happy when we leave. And since we record the history and number every piece we make, uh, our, often our deal with the landowner is that the first piece made from that barn, piece number one, is theirs in exchange for letting us there wow. to take the wood. Um, and it can be whatever they want, uh, you know, a table, a bench, bed, cabinet, wow. whatever they want, the first piece is theirs, made from their wood. That, that's awesome, that's phenomenal. Look like I'm gonna have to uh, get a barn built and, and, and leave it in Henry County. You're going to have to know the history. <laughs> and, and, and get some history off of it. So that, that's a phenomenal process. So uh, I understand, you know, I, it was something that I was reading where it says, let the wood speak. What does that mean? Well, uh, as I was saying, you know, when you're out there in, in 90 degree heat, you get intimate with each board. You, you know what each board is, uh, how long it's been there in most cases, and, and you see what nature has done to it, what time and nature have done to that wood when it was put on. Very often we find that we do have 100 year old, at least 100 year old barns. And if you think about that, looking at the wood, you know that the, the wood, those, the trees that that wood was taken from were probably 200 or 300 year old trees right. at that time when it was taken. So a lot of times you're talking about two, three, 400 year old wood. Right. Um, and what time and nature does to it is just nothing that we can do uh, right. to, to duplicate. So it, it, it kind of speaks to you. You, you, you kind of have a vision of, of which direction you want to take that board. What, what, what's the best use for that board? Would it be a vase or a piece of art? Or is it best used in a table to show the character of old wood and what old methods and saw marks and hammer marks yeah. and things have done to it? So. Man, that's, that's what I mean by letting it speak to us. That's that. That's totally awesome. Uh, so I also understand that uh, you're featured in the Artisan Trail, and you're a part of uh, the Artist Consortium. Uh, tell us how that. How did that come about? Um, when we opened our our store in Stockbridge, we we wanted to make sure that we provided a platform for artists and art, and to try to generate more interest in art, public interest in, in art in Henry County, and especially in Stockbridge is where our store is. Um, but then uh, in our dealings with uh, the ladies over at, at the CDB, um, 
they kind of guided us and, 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 and had the same interest. They wanted public art to be a thing in Henry County and to be something that the county is known for. And, and, and we saw that you know, forming the Artist Consortium and taking on the right projects would help us get to that point. So Greg, how do you feel um, the Henry County Chamber will impact your business? Uh, it already has, actually. Um, uh, again, at, with the CDB, our, our dealings with, uh, with Laura and Jana and Asia um, have, have shown us uh, what joining the Chamber can, can do for us as far as networking, uh, the resources that the Chamber can provide as far as you know, webinars and seminars and, and just general information at times and introducing us to the right people and the right projects. Um, that that's what we think will continue to get as we move forward. Absolutely, and and I can't tell you enough that we are so proud to have you guys uh, in Henry County, and what you're doing uh, is phenomenal. And I know uh, people are just gonna you know come in and continue to come in. I I know a good friend of mine did an article on on, on you, and I've always wanted to come in and visit uh, Barn Beautiful. So I'm gonna make sure that I get there. And, uh, and, and, and look at some of the stuff that you have and, and, and walk out with something as well. Please do, and don't feel bad. Um, we just celebrated our fourth year anniversary, but I still have people come in the door and say, I've always wanted to stop and just never had the time. And, yeah. But they finally made it. So yeah. when you come in, I'll say, yeah, you finally made it. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for being in the chair seat, Greg, and uh, we appreciate you being here. Thank you. Well, I am here with Miss Amy Coons. Amy is the chair for Leadership Henry this year, and uh, Amy, I'm excited to have you at the, in the chair seat. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, it's not too hot. The seat isn't hot. It's but, a you little know. warm. It's a little <laughs> warm. Yeah. But we're talking about an exciting topic. We're talking about Leadership Henry, yes. something that's near and dear to me. Yes. So for those that are out there that are going to be watching this, tell us a little bit about Leadership Henry. All right, so with Leadership Henry, I believe the program began in 1992. I wanted to say it was the first graduating class, and the only win way I can remember that is that's my graduating year. So, Me too. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so Leadership Henry has been around for... Um, for quite a while now, over three decades, and what it is is it is a it is a leadership course that is sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce here in Henry County. So we are a program of the Chamber, um, and the purpose of the course is so that business leaders, community leaders, can come together um, in the class formation, mm -hmm. learn about their county, connect, and. Um, mm, just learn about other community leaders in in our county. And you, you know, I, and I, I've, I've been through, my year was 2015. I'm not gonna say what, what we typically say, but uh, 2015, I went through Leadership Henry, and I'd say it was a life-changing experience right. for me right. uh, because of the friendships that, yes. you know, I, I, I made friendships with you. Yes, uh, yes. And, uh, you know, and, and just being on the board and and just being around all the community leaders was really great so you know i can't speak highly enough for leadership henry. and i do think that's one thing that's amazing about leadership henry is that all classes do feel like their class is the very best class ever. absolutely absolutely yeah. so amy uh who are some of the community leaders that have come through uh leadership henry well, yourself, Lincoln, uh, of course, but um, you know what? There are tons and tons of community leaders that have been through Leadership Henry. We've had um, representatives from Georgia Power, from the courts, from the Board of Education. Um, our current county manager, Sherry Matthews, right. she went through the class. Um, our upcoming um, class will include Chair Harrell. Ah. Um, and so, you know, there are so many people that have been through the program program and, and maybe they went through and um, weren't a big name at the time but um, have really used those leadership skills and have made have made something of themselves. Yeah. Um, Laura Turner, who I think people right. know of CHOA, and Laura yes. has always been highly involved with Leadership Henry. Um, Katie Tucker over at Haven House. That's I right. mean, if you think about most of our big community organizations and our businesses, somebody at some time has put one of their leaders through Leadership Henry. Yeah, yeah. And, and I can't tell you, it, it's so important 
uh, for Leadership Henry, which, which leads me into my next question. Right. Why is it important, you think, to, to apply for Leadership Henry? You know, I can speak a little bit about my own personal experience and why I chose to apply. Is I've always been a go-getter and I've always um, liked to be in charge, my husband <laughs> will agree, um, but I just felt like I was missing some of those vital skills. I felt like I was missing those um, community connections and, right. and I really wanted to push myself outside that boundary yeah. and learn more. Yeah. And I think so many people can can learn from leadership Henry that That's if right. you're interested in growing as a leader um, then this is your next step we yeah. can we can help push it to that next level yeah yeah and, and, and I am just just piggybacking off of that into my own experience when I applied for leadership Henry I really did not know that many people mm -hmm. in the county right but just coming through that class and the amount of connections exactly. and friendships that have been formed through leadership Henry was great for me so exactly. yeah yeah thank you me too that. so i started I, you know i i was in 2018 the, yes. the greatest class ever and so that was the case for myself as well as i was coming into a newer position and, right. and want a position that was necessary to to be in contact with our community and know who was who and who i needed to go to to help get things done yeah absolutely it's very important very important mm -hmm. so can you tell me about what changes or enhancements to the program uh, you guys are looking to implement or what right. you've gone through over the past so, year? I think most previous classes will say that the program is amazing, that it's excellent, yeah. did it need tweaking. Yeah. Um, but you know, we had a year off with COVID. And so we took that year to really re-explore what Leadership Henry is and what it is that we're trying to um, to provide for our community leaders. Okay. Um, and so not only is it learning about the county, connecting with other leaders in the community, but we really want to focus and enhance on those leadership skills. What does it mean to be a leader? It's That's not right. just let's all ride a bus together and go visit somewhere um, or take a tour of a county building. Right. But what are those skills and what are those characteristics that we as leaders have that we can grow on and we can um, tap into other people too and raise them up. And that's so right. that's what we've really focused on this last year is looking at what skills are we teaching classmates that are coming through the Leadership Henry program. That's really important uh, because look, leadership skills, it's one thing when you're you're a boss at work and people have to follow you, right? right? right. But then leadership is where someone just they want to follow you. Exactly. And, and those skills are important, and exactly. I know that's what you're building in, in Leadership Henry. Exactly, and that's, and that's a hard act to follow. I mean, there, you think about people in your life and how many people have been that person. Right. Um, and so when there are those people, we just want to, to raise them up and, and yeah. give them every opportunity to, so everybody can be blessed by them. That's right, that's right. <laughs> so so I, I know, like myself, I'm an, I'm an alumni yes. of, of Leadership yes. Henry. What? How are you guys planning anything for alumni? So this has been another big topic of discussion for this last past year, the, yes. the, the year that will go unnamed, um, <laughs> is that we really do want to tap back into alumni. Um, our alumni are very proud of the fact that they went through Leadership Henry. Um, and so, and again, that's another great source of knowledge and, um, and, and resources that we have. And I fir firmly believe that if we pull those past alumni together um, to work on any type of community issues or concerns or um, projects that we have, we are just creating a better Henry. That's right. Um, that you know we can have nothing but room to grow and to improve. And um, we don't want our leaders who've been through the program just to be pushed back into the corner and forgotten. Yeah. Um, it's important that all those leaders come forth. Yeah. So yeah. we would love to start an alumni base. Um, we do have a Leadership Henry website, www.leadershiphenry.org. Org, I believe. I think it's dot com. Dot com. Dot yeah. org. Yeah. yeah. Dot com. Um, and so we're trying to grow our directory so that we can see who all our um, previous class members has been. Well, look, call on me. I'm, I'm really excited. You know, uh, being a part of Leadership Henry is, has been a lifelong yes. thing for me. And like I mentioned, the friendship. So yes. definitely uh, call on me when you guys need something. I you know I will. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so my last question for okay. you is, uh, how has Leadership Henry impacted your life and, and your career? Um, I have 
grown exponentially. I cannot say how much confidence I have gained, um, and that has been ever since my Leadership Henry experience. Yeah. Um, I have found what it means to um, take care of other people. I have learned how to handle myself in a business-like manner. Yeah. Um, I, I just and the relationships, I, I just can't stress yeah. enough, you right. know? Yeah. Um, some of my best relationships have come from either Leadership Henry class or, or being on the Leadership Henry board. Um, I will be eternally grateful to this program. Yeah. Um, I am one, I love Henry County, I love my community, but I don't feel like I would have ever gotten to this level um, of involvement if I hadn't gone through Leadership Henry. Oh man, that's, that's so, so profound what you said because I feel the same way. Yeah. I feel that I would not be sitting here as the chair of the Henry County Chamber if it were not for Leadership Henry right. because right. it's prepared me uh, for so much and um, and like you said those friendships and our friendship yes. uh, that we have is it came through Leadership Henry. Absolutely. So, Amy, thank you for being here. Thank you. The chair man. seat. I really thank appreciate you. it. Yeah, I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this interview, head over to www.henrycounty.com. At that website is where you will find a member directory, member resources, what's new in Henry County, blogs, events, and more information. I want you to plug into the Henry County Chambers podcast, the Henry County Chambers video podcast, and more importantly, I want you to plug into togetherforhenry.com. That's together, number four, henry.com. At that website is where you are going to find so much information that you can plug in and be a part of this great community. So thank you again for listening, and we hope to see you next time.